What's up everybody, I'm Superbeast GN. welcome back to the channel. Real quick, I just wanted to make a little bit of a First Strike tutorial for those who may not know what First Strike is. Uh, I know some of you might know this tutorial is not for you, uh, but you can still watch, you're welcome to it. Uh, I, I play this game a lot and I see a lot of my opponents just don't either don't know what First Strike is or they don't realize what First Strike is. And uh, I'm going to explain to you what First Strike is here, uh, especially on Glissa, because Glissa, it seems to be like the... Uh, the one creature where people just don't understand how it works. So I'm going to go over it real quick. So um, Glissa is a 3-3 with First Strike and Death Touch. So obviously, you know, if anything, if she does deal, uh, if she deals damage to anything, she just kills it. Um, and she has First Strike. So First Strike is she deals damage before other creatures do uh, without First Strike. So normally if you have like two creatures, let's say Gix and Graveyard Trespasser are fighting each other, um, like, you know, Gix attacks, Graveyard Trespasser blocks, uh, they would deal three damage to each other at the same exact time, and then they would both die at the end of combat. And then that's how regular combat works. But with First Strike, First Strike deals damage before anything without First Strike deals damage. So if Glissa were to attack and Graveyard Trespasser were to uh, block, Glissa would first destroy the graveyard trespasser and then during the normal combat step nor uh, normal combat damage step uh graveyard trespasser would no longer be on the field to deal damage to glissa and then she would not take any damage um so in other words if you're trying to block glissa um you're it's going to take a whole lot of things to block her because she has death touch she only has to deal one damage to anything to to kill it to any creature to kill it unless it's indestructible which is it's a hard find nowadays to find a creature that's like just natively indestructible. So let's say you wanted to double block. So Glissa attacks. Biting Palm Ninja and Gix both double block her. What Glissa would do during the first strike step is deal one damage to the Biting Palm Ninja and then deal one damage to, Gl uh, to Gix at the same time, killing both these creatures. And then also there would be no damage done to Glissa. Same thing if all three of these creatures here would block Glissa. So, you would need a minimum, if you wanted to kill Glissa by blocks, you would need a minimum of 1, 2, 3, and then one more 3-3. Three, three. It would have to be a 3-3. Three, three. Well, if you wanted to kill it, you'd have to, uh, you'd have, to have a 3-3. Three, three. Um, because then what would happen is Glissa only has 3, dam or three power, so she would be uh, in combat. Four things would be blocking. She would deal one damage to the Biting Palm Ninja, one damage to the Gix, and one damage to the Dr Graveyard Trespasser. That's all the damage that she can deal. She would kill the three of those, and then, during the regular... She doesn't do double damage, so, like, that's her damage step. Uh, whatever the other 3-3 three, three is would deal damage to her and then kill her. Because the she would have dealt no damage to that fourth creature. Double Strike works the same way as First Strike, except, um, let's say, if Glissa had Double Strike... She would then deal damage again to the fourth creature. But double strike is just first strike and regular damage. Whereas first strike is first strike damage, but not regular damage. Okay, so let's talk about something with first strike that doesn't have death touch. So let's talk about how the uh, how the power and toughness work real quick. Real quick. Um, so this Chaplain of Elms has first strike. It's a 1-1. One, one. Pretty weak creature, right? Okay. This Power Stone Engineer is a 2-1. Doesn't have first strike. If these two creatures do battle... The one with first strike is going to win. If you're if you're looking at first strike when it comes to battle, always be looking at the toughness of your creature, not the power. It does not matter how much power your creature has. This could be like a 22-1. A 20, a it doesn't matter. 18-1 or whatever. Um, the 1-1 one, one first strike is always going to win that. As long as the attack, the attack power of the uh, first strike creature is equal to or more than the total toughness of the blockers or attackers. As long as this is one and the first strike creature's power is one, the first strike creature will kill the creature without first strike. You would have to raise this creature's toughness to at least two to survive that. Simply put, if a creature with first strike can do enough damage to kill a creature that's blocking it, or a creature it's blocking. It will always win the fight. As long as the other creature does not have double strike or first strike. So just watch out for that. I really hope this tutorial helps some people out there. I know a lot of people are just either getting back into magic. Maybe forgot some of the rules. Or maybe they're just getting into magic now. And just didn't know the rules. But that is what first strike is. 
uh, take this knowledge into the arena and uh, and win some games, please. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions on game mechanics, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments or just, you know, uh, send me a community message or something or comment on one of my videos. It doesn't matter. Uh, and, uh, I'll try, I'll try my best to answer it or maybe do a video on it or something. Um, and if you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe really helps the channel out. And, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace out.